Who Would Win? Ultimate Shark Rumble by Jerry Pallotta, illustrated by Rob Bolster. What would happen if 16 sharks were invited to a contest? What if there was a bracketed fight? Who would win? If a shark loses a round, it is out of the competition. Round one, match one, basking shark versus bull shark. The basking shark is a filter feeder. It swims with its mouth open near the surface of the ocean. Don't be afraid, it has teeny tiny teeth. The basking shark is the second largest fish in the world. The bull shark is a man-eating shark. It moves in shallow water where some people swim. It also swims up rivers and sometimes into lakes. The bull shark does attack people. Beware. The basking shark got its name from basking in or lying in the sun. Bull sharks live well in captivity. No big teeth? Only a filter feeder jaw? The basking shark does not stand a chance. The bull shark's strong jaw and sharp teeth bite chunks out of the basking shark. Goodbye, basking shark. Bull shark wins. All sharks are fish. A bull shark that swam up a river in Africa got eaten by a crocodile. Round one, match two, mako shark versus saw shark. The short fin mako shark is the fastest shark in the ocean. It can swim up to 45 miles per hour. Makos are often called the cheetahs of the sea or falcons of the ocean. It is nice to be able to outswim your enemies. The saw shark has teeth along its nose. It is an easy shark to identify. It uses its nose to slash at a school of fish. How would you like to have teeth on your nose? Sharks do not sleep like we do. They have active and rest periods. For example, reef sharks nest on the bottom of the ocean. The word mako means shark in the Maori language. The saw shark is scary looking, but it is no match for a mako. The lightning fast mako swims right at the saw shark and bites its tail off. The saw shark is wounded and cannot swim. Mako shark wins. Round one, match three. Seven gilled shark versus hammerhead shark. Mammals have lungs, fish have gills. Almost all sharks have five gill slits on each side of their heads. True to its name, the seven-gilled shark has seven gills. Its head doesn't look like a hammer to me. It looks more like an airplane wing. When people see that shape, they know exactly what kind of shark it is, the hammerhead shark. Sharks do not have bones. Their skeletons are made of cartilage, the same kind of material in your nose. Hammerhead fact. Its eyes are positioned to have excellent vision. One kind of hammerhead shark is known as a bonnet head. The hammerhead has excellent vision and can see backward. It is watching the seven gilled shark's every move. When the seven gilled shark makes a wrong turn, the bigger hammerhead attacks. One bite, two bites, goodbye seven gilled shark. Hammerhead wins. There is also a rare six gilled shark. Round one, match four, goblin shark versus tiger shark. The deep water goblin shark has a scary looking double face. This shark species has been on earth for more than 100 million years. Its ancestors probably had fights with plesiosaurs and dinosaurs. Few goblin sharks have ever been caught. A plesiosaur is an extinct ocean reptile. Meet the tiger shark. It has the perfect name. Surfers and swimmers beware. The tiger shark is known for attacking humans. It has teeth capable of biting tough sea turtle shells. A sand tiger shark is a different species than a tiger shark. 
This fight is a matchup between an ancient, ugly shark and a sleek, beautifully designed fighting machine. The tiger shark has a larger tail and bigger fins, and it can swim faster and turn better than the goblin shark. The fight does not take long. Tiger shark wins. Some native Hawaiians believe that tiger sharks are the spirits of their ancestors. Shark suckers are fish that attach themselves to sharks. They are also called remoras. Round 1, Match 5, Great White Shark versus Lemon Shark The Great White Shark is one of the most famous sharks in the world. It has a huge, strong jaw with triangular-shaped serrated teeth. It gets blamed for the most attacks on humans around the world. The Lemon Shark this shark has a light yellow color. Wow, it is different. It has two dorsal fins. Sharks have pectoral fins, dorsal fins, pelvic fins, anal fins, and caudal fins. Not all sharks are gray. The lemon shark puts up a good fight, but the great white shark is too big, too strong, and too ferocious for the lemon shark. The great white shark swims right at the lemon shark and uses its powerful jaw to bite the lemon shark. The big bite is fatal. Great white shark wins. Round 1, Match 6. Whale shark versus black tip shark. The whale shark is the largest and longest fish in the ocean. It grows up to 40 feet long and weighs up to 20 tons. It has tiny teeth and is a filter feeder. The whale shark swims with its huge mouth open. It strains or catches small sea creatures such as krill and coat pods. Strange but true, the biggest fish eat the tiniest creatures. The whale shark is not a whale. Like all sharks, it is a fish. A whale shark's mouth is up to five feet wide. It looks like a giant vacuum cleaner. The black tip shark gets its name from the black tip on its dorsal fin. Black tip sharks are aggressive. They move toward human swimmers. It's just not fair. An aggressive shark against a filter feeder? The black tip shark is not intimidated by the size of the whale shark. It swims and bites at the whale shark. Bites, bites, and more bites. The black tip shark wounds the bigger whale shark. The whale shark loses too much blood. It slowly sinks. It will be a giant meal for hundreds of other fish. Black tip shark wins. A whale shark is the largest vertebrate animal on earth that is not a mammal. Vertebrate means an animal with a spine. A whale fall is when a whale dies and sinks to the deep bottom of the ocean. There, its skeleton becomes a home and dinner for other sea creatures. Round 1, Match 7, Thresher Shark versus Leopard Shark. The Thresher Shark has a long tail. Its tail is more than half the length of its body. The tail allows it to swim, turn, and stop faster. It hunts using its tail to whip at schools of fish. Common thresher sharks are also called fox sharks. The leopard shark is a small shark that has leopard-like spots. It grows to only about four feet long. The dwarf lantern shark is the smallest shark in the ocean. It is only about eight inches long. The tiny cookie cutter shark cuts little cookie shaped chunks out of other fish, dolphins, and whales. The thresher shark circles the leopard shark to check it out. There is a huge size difference between this pair. The thresher shark uses its big tail to whip and stun the leopard shark. Its unusual tail is like a secret weapon. Thresher shark wins. In Spanish, a shark is called el tiburón. Round 1, Match 8, Megamouth versus Greenland Shark The Megamouth is a big, large shark with a wide mouth. 
This rare deep water shark was discovered in 1976. Don't be scared. Big mouth, big lips, no big deal. This shark is also a filter feeder. Few people have ever seen a living megamouth shark. Don't mix up the megamouth with a megalodon, the largest shark that ever lived. The prehistoric megalodon is extinct. Greenland sharks are also called gurry sharks or gray sharks. They live the longest of any shark between 300 and 500 years. That's a lot of birthday parties. The Greenland shark belongs to a shark species that has been on Earth more than 100 million years. Gurry are the parts left over after you fillet or debone a fish. Gurry is often used for crab and lobster bait. The megamouth usually eats tiny fish and krill. It wouldn't know how to attack the Greenland shark. The Greenland shark swims toward the megamouth. The hungry Greenland shark attacks the megamouth. The megamouth has lots of teeth, but they are small and useless in a fight like this. The Greenland shark chews up the megamouth. Greenland shark wins. Some sharks bump first to try to figure out what a creature or object is made of. Greenland sharks have been found swimming one mile below the ocean surface. We are at the end of the first round. Only eight sharks are left in the competition. Round two, match one, bull shark versus mako shark. The bull shark fought a filter feeder to get into round two. Now it faces speed and sharp teeth. This is a challenge. Who will win? Who will get into the shark final four? The mako is so fast that the bull shark has trouble finding it. The bull shark has trouble chasing its opponent. Some sharks attack from below. Other sharks attack from above. Speed is a great weapon, but eventually the mako has to confront the bull shark. The bull shark is too strong and too nasty for the mako. The bull shark overpowers the mako. The bull shark has a stronger jaw. Bull shark wins. Round two, match two, hammerhead shark versus tiger shark. Some people thought the hammerhead might end up in the championship match against the tiger shark, but they must meet in the second round. Pilot fish get protection and leftover food by following sharks as they swim. The hammerhead has a smaller mouth than the tiger shark. The tiger shark glides to the side and bites off one of the hammerhead's eyes. The hammerhead is in trouble. The tiger shark then bites it on the back. Tiger shark wins. Round two, match three. Great white shark versus black tip shark. Could the great white shark eat every other shark in this book? Too bad the extinct megalodon isn't around to swallow the great white shark with one bite. The great white shark starts swimming toward the black tip shark. The black tip shark sees the great white shark and realizes this is a serious contest. There is no place to hide. Black tip sharks are often found in large packs or groups. Sea mammals have horizontal tails. Almost all sharks have vertical tails. The great white shark attacks. It hides its eyes as it opens its huge jaw and wounds the black tip shark. The aggressive black tip shark wants to escape, but it's too late. It becomes lunch. Great white shark wins. Round two, match four. Thresher shark versus Greenland shark. The thresher shark, with its fancy tail and tricky turns, tries to intimidate the Greenland shark. Its strategy does not work. The Greenland shark is bigger and not scared. It is ready to show off its strong jaw. A shark loses thousands of teeth during its lifetime. It grows new ones to replace them. Humans only have 32 adult teeth. When the thresher shark swims near, the Greenland shark bites a chunk out of the thresher shark. The thresher shark is overcome by the Greenland shark's strength. 
Don't mess with an old pro. Greenland Shark wins. That's it. The shark final four is set. Bull Shark, Tiger Shark, Great White Shark, and Greenland Shark. All the filter feeders are gone. There are only four competitors left. Should we call it round three, fight one, or the semifinals? Oh, right. It's the shark final four. Round three, match one, bull shark versus tiger shark. This is a fight of almost equals. Both are ferocious sharks. Each is considered a man eater. The bull shark and tiger shark are often in the news. The bull shark approaches the tiger shark. The tiger shark goes after the bull shark. The tiger shark is longer and heavier. The bull shark is broader. This is a serious fight. Someone is going to get hurt. The tiger shark overpowers the bull shark. Crunch. The bull shark slowly sinks. Tiger shark wins. Round three, match two. Great White Shark versus Greenland Shark. The Great White Shark waits for the Greenland Shark to swim toward the surface. They are about the same size. The Great White Shark is a faster swimmer. Its teeth are bigger and sharper. The Greenland Shark is not as agile or able to move as quickly as the Great White. The Great White Shark is more intelligent. What is the Great White's strategy? The Great White Shark starred in four famous movies, Jaws, Jaws 2, Jaws 3D, and Jaws the Revenge. At full speed, the Great White Shark attacks from below. Crunch! It rips the soft underbelly of the Greenland Shark. The Great White Shark knew it did not want its first bite to be against the Greenland Shark's tougher topside. Goodbye, Greenland Shark. Great White Shark wins. We should have known the movie star Great White Shark would make it to the finals. Championship Match Tiger Shark versus Great White Shark Two ferocious sharks battle back and forth. Tiger Shark versus Great White Shark A blunt head against a pointy head. Eyes on the side versus eyes up front. A square jaw confronts an oval jaw. The great white shark tries to attack from below. The tiger shark stays close to the bottom. As the great white shark swims by, the tiger shark with its longer tail makes a quick turn and bites into the great white. The great white shark is bleeding. The tiger shark is skinnier than the great white. In most fights, a great white shark would win, but today is different. In this battle, the tiger shark is a better warrior. Tiger shark wins. This is one way the competition might have ended. Write your own ending or think of a new version of an ultimate rumble book.